welcome back everyone to another episode of Morocco! Well, last time, as you guys know, we have successfully defended ourselves again against the impenetrable threat of the Castilians and the European powers that keep messing with us at all times, may I add. I mean, it's just like, at almost any moment in time, I'm just like messed with. You know, it makes me kind of feel sad. Because I'd really like to become this really, you know, friendly and utopian nation, but other nations just keep attacking me. It's so unfair. Okay, but anyways, we are keep building more and more, um, what are they called? Stuff. No, it's not stuff. It's, uh, armories. There we go. That's the word. Keep building armies, and we have recently expanded to, like, a couple different places. We're about to go expand to Oreo. Oyo, or maybe it's Yo-Yo, one of those two, you have no diplomats sent, give me a second, my diplomats just have to come back, GRAIN, you can never have too much grain, that is the truth right there, oh, native uprising, that's all so good, will my troops be able to handle it, yeah, we handled it, good, alright, yeah, the, the, this is just normal things in colonization, just like, yeah, there's rebels, hmm. what's new, what's new on the telly? <laughs> I swear, that's how we, I swear that's how my people, like, deal with rebels. It's like, rebels? Huh. What's new on the telly? So anyways, let's continue our rapid expansion now that we have, you know, achieved what we want to achieve pretty quickly. I mean, look at this. We basically have, um, a couple of great animus states that just get to be picked off by us. And we're going to use it to our utmost advantage to just take them all over as quickly as possible. Because we have no, like I said, we have no self-regrets. Alright, and now we just need to last a little bit so we can fully annex them. And there we go. Oh, yo, you are now a subject nation. Well, not a subject nation because you guys are getting completely annexed. But, there we go. Next thing to do, get over here, get over here. And the next one is to attack the, uh... Friendlier people, I guess, the uh, Hausa. Uh, they are usually animists, so I don't usually have to worry about being about being worrisome about maybe they might uh, become evil. Religious disorder in Hungary, so that means that that means that Protestantism is really starting to spread through its land. Yeah, it is. Um, Tyrol embraced Protestantism, and they're an administrative republic. What? Okay, that usually never happens. Sweet for them. Uh, we're gonna start sending our maximally cool, pious people to go convert our natives. Uh, well, our people, I should say. I shouldn't call them natives because they are our people. Uh, start building more forts down here so we can start protecting ourselves more. Uh, next thing to do is attack the uh, Hansa. Now that we have... We should have... Um, religious stuff to do with them. Maybe it's because we have no cores. Alright, then we can wait a couple minutes to get some cores. I mean, it's it's not like I'm really in that much of a hurry. I mean, uh, lose diplomatic power is better than losing prestige, especially right now, since we just got, like, a major war done. Um, also, are you guys animus? No, you guys are probably Sunni. Yeah, you guys are Sunni. Okay, also, we should probably start thinking about other places to colonize. Uh, any other places that we could probably block up the British? Is there any way I can colonize that little island right there? No, we have not discovered it yet. That stinks. Um, let me justify this right now. Let's use our explorer. I know I'm getting too much infamy, but I'm gonna use. Uh, let's break this guy up by in half. Okay. The guy that just the guy that just gets to sit there is gonna be my new explorer, like you guys, the barks. Get into town. Okay, now we're gonna have you guys have to explore, and now you guys are going to try to go explore all the way across the coast. I mean, it should work. I mean, we have basically close enough range to where they shouldn't. It should do everything. Now, how effective an explorer these guys are gonna be, I don't know entirely, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be pretty effective because they're pretty good guys. Um. Okay, since we don't, since we can't necessarily attack right now, oh, can we attack the Mali? Are oh, the Mali Sunni? The Mali is Sunni. So I'm gonna fabricate a claim that way when I want to, I can go attack them. And we're just gonna watch as our explorer slowly explores the rest of the 
entire thing. And Portugal just got a Regency count. My king is too young, we do. Yes. So Portugal just got a Regency Council, so that means it won't be attacking me for a while. How old is he? 13. So three years we have of just no attacks from anyone. Good gracious, that's going to be so nice. Uh, early ramparts, though. I'm still going to build those. That way I can just protect myself. And yeah, if I'm speaking a little bit quicker, it's because I'm liking this timber shortage. Oh, that's really bad. That's really bad. Okay, let's see. Will you guys make it? Yeah, you guys will be able to make it all the way across. And wait, finish it. Finish it up. Finish it up. Finish up that little part so make sure that we can do all that. Conversion successful. Move on to the next conversion. And let's see. We have a lot of we have a lot of uh, managing to do. Get the next core, and we should probably start. Yeah, we could probably get the next militaristic points. And. Let's see, how's our economy doing? Hmm. It's getting stronger. Let's see, it's getting obviously pretty strong now. I mean, we are. Including the just. Uh, I like that event. <laughs> Gives me. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of money. Okay. Um. Never mind, we are getting a lot of good events. Um. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, sorry about that, people. We had a little family moment there. Had to say goodbye to my mom, which was pretty cute. And we have, re we have, um, uh, shoot. Uh, you guys, let's hope Portugal will be nice people and help us out here. Come on, or at least we'll be able to crush the pirates. Thank God. Oh, no. No. Oh, shoot. Come on, survive. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, good. He survived. But he also kind of died. But at least we discovered the entire Cape of Hope. So now we know what it looks like. So we have no, we now know what the full extent of Africa is. That is good knowledge right there. That is good knowledge. Okay. We're going to just dock up right here. And yeah, this is, gonna, this is, you can rest for a little bit. Honestly, you, you did a lot. And we could probably start colonizing this if we really wanted to. Um, this is, this is going to take a little bit to like get down and, you know, get people to start liking all ways instead of new ways and stuff like that, but, hmm, it take a little bit of walking to get there, but, eh, let's just get there, uh, yeah, I think, I think I'll go send these guys, I think I'll go send the next, the next, uh, explorers down here, so I make sure that we gain more of Africa as we go. Uh, native uprising usually does happen. Okay, you guys are probably gonna have to take a long way. So go right here, then go right here. Okay, this is gonna take a little bit because these people don't know how to march. Uh, this guy's gonna be taking stuff. Finally got, I think, another conversion done, so... I can't get the last conversion done because I'm still pouring it, but... This does make a lot of stuff much easier. Okay. Like, it should make coin way easier. Also, militaristically suppress. Don't need militaristically suppress, because it's basically always suppressed as it is. And I don't believe that's actually a territory I can go through, so. Yeah. Gain militaristic province, gain the war on Jelaine. It's good. Protect our brethren in Tangiers. I obviously don't think they need protection. Spread our culture. Still something I'm not going to do. I don't think it's worthwhile. Okay, and honestly, while I'm also on the subject of things worthwhile, we are getting really, really close to, uh, um, shoot. Okay, yes, actually, this is even better. Okay, yes, we will accept, of course. Ottomans, we are like your buddies, of course we'll accept. You guys say jump and we'll say how high. Okay, so it's finally time for our war with the Mamelukes. It's going to take my troops a little bit time to get up there, but mostly... I won't be... They won't be fighting me. L let's be real here. The Mamelukes will mostly be trying to fight the Ottomans, so that gives us a good chance to go gain our own land from this. Uh, by the way, you should be protecting trade in uh, Tunis. Just saying. You should be just sitting there because you have nothing worthwhile for me to take from you. Okay. Uh, you guys are... Aren't you guys done yet? No, you guys are not. You guys are close to being done, but not quite done. There is a difference. Not a very good difference, but there is a difference between almost done and done. 
So let's see. We're just going to have to wait as our soldiers carefully go through all the lands again. Uh, yeah, and civil civilizing. Are we ready for it? Are we strong enough as a nation to finally be able to civilize and become that good Western neighbor? I, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm honestly scared. Because I know what westernization does to nations. It's one of the hardest things. And the Mamluks are getting crushed, which is a good thing. Um, uh, shoot. Because I know if we're going to go westernization, I'm going to have to uh, start getting like... Yes, we got a self-sustaining colony. That's good. Um, cord instantly. Uh, where should we send this army? Huh. Let's see, is there any like valuable like two province places? Right here, but that's a lot of levels I'm gonna have to go through. Um any like valuable stuff? There's a good four right there, but that's a little bit too far for us at this present moment. Eh. I mean we really can't expand anywhere right now. Can I get this? No, I could not. Okay, um, yeah, let's just kind of just colonize inward then. Because, I mean, there's really not much to really colonize right now, so we might as well just colonize inward. Our troops are marching to war, as they say. The troops go marching to war, to war, hurrah, hurrah. And as we march to war, we really go dis just destroy the Egyptians, because the Egyptians should be destroyed. I don't know. I, I'm not very good at coming up with jinduistic songs, so excuse me if they sound really bad. Uh, let's see if we can build more ramparts. One more rampart should be good enough, that way we have inner protection everywhere. So that way if somebody lands on our provinces, we just they just have to do stuff. Okay. And we're going to completely block up Alexandria with our 30k man. That's basically enough to where, holy shoot, where the heck did they get that? Um... Ottomans, you guys better be able to protect this. Okay, retreat. Retreat, 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 retreat. Oh, wait, wait, we're winning, we're winning. Never mind, maybe we shouldn't retreat. Can I just, just sit here? Maybe? Oh my goodness, this is terrible. Oh, shoot, that's terrible for us. Yeah, we lost. Uh, 45 men versus us, that's really not just gonna... We're just not gonna win. No, Songhai... Wait, would you guys become our vassal? I would accept this if you become our vassal. Is it possible for you guys to become our vassal? No. You guys are firmly built on the plantation of never becoming my vassal. Okay, the Ottomans are just like spreading out and destroying everything while I just got destroyed because they sent all the men after me instead of the Ottomans. Integrating Fez, thank goodness, they're now part of our empire. Huzzah. Wasn't really... They should be exactly the same as everything, so it doesn't really matter. They're now our friends, our buddies, our good take, take Jelaine. Uh, create a plot fleet, or oh, take Jelaine. Oh, we can take Jelaine. I was gonna do that anyways, I'm just having to wait a little bit. And, we honestly don't have enough manpower reserves anymore to recover every last soldier that just died in a freak accident of nature. Because, they went after me first. Which is kind of annoying. Really is annoying. And I'm probably going to have to build mercenaries here soon. Even more annoying. Uh, let's go right here. Let's go destroy. Now I'm going to go. I'm going after you now. Now that you are not with your little pretender people. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. That 14 staff will not be able to stand against me. Yeah. Yeah. Without, without, without your masters of the Mamelukes. You guys are nothing. <laughs> and I know that. And you know that. Okay. And now that we have some land, I'm going to... Well, I'm really... Like I said, I'm going to try to take Liberia from this. But I'm not the war leader. Yep, I'm not a war leader. I'm just a medium participant in this war. So, I'm probably going to make the mom... I'm probably going to make the uh, people mad. But really, all I want to get out of this is Liberia and Alexandria. That way we can kind of start expanding a little bit into our own new little areas. And I know the Ottomans are going to get mad at me. Don't get me wrong, guys. They're going to be... <laughs> they're going to be mad. But there's not really much I can do because I really do need to do what's best for my country. 
And honestly, I think this is best for my country. We should also build some of the, some more docks. Because docks are really awesome. Okay, and keep some more money saved up. Okay. Yeah, I think actually I should start saving up for our uh, our westernization for the Sunni faith. Sure. For the Sunni faith. I don't know what just happened. I hope that wasn't just a conversion event. I'll be insanely mad. Thank you. You did not convert. It's really good of you. It's really good of you not to realize that Sunni is the right religion. It helps me out a lot. <laughs> okay. So let's see. We're going to siege down this. Once we get Liberia and then Alexandria, I think then I'm just going to siege down the rest of this. I'm almost fairly confident that, that the army is almost completely gone. But I'm just going to let the Ottomans still deal with it because the Ottomans are really good at dealing with stuff. We have absolutely no men. Slaves! Gosh dang it! Why? Why are they always slaves? Why am I so effectively good at the slave trade? Seriously. Oh my goodness, the king of the Holy Roman Empire is Bohemia? Wow! Bohemia! <laughs> Dang, that's first. It's one of those few times I've ever seen Bohemia actually be able to uh, top some of the other emperors. It topped, uh, it topped the majority of uh, Austria. Wow. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And Burgundy, you guys are still in this. Wow, that's also pretty cool too. Uh, you guys need to connect your land though, otherwise you don't really have any, you know, support. But other than that, wow. I'm, you know, it's just. Uh, as far as I can see, I don't really pay attention to Europe very much, but when I actually do, it's really interesting to see what happens. So we're going to go to Alexandria next. Once we get these two provinces, I'm just going to ask for a piece. They should, I mean, this is a should and this is a big should, be like, yeah, we should probably give this to these people because they are seizing us pretty much rapidly. Um, we do want these guys out of our war. But I'm not sure. They might they might be stubborn and I may have to go see the actual capital. But hmm. we'll see. Let's see. Peace offer from the Mamluks. White peace? What? No! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. They they definitely want me to go see their capital. That's that's what they're saying right now. They say, yes, go seize capital. We got the 200 event right there, which is really good. Um there we go. Alright. Look, guys. We want this and we want this. Okay, we can just accept Alexandria. But that's what we want. Give it to us. Need at least 10 more score to make demands. What do we have? 4% more score. Okay, we, we just want Alexandria. Once we get Alexandria, you guys can have your... Uh, you know, your lovely... Yeah, if you guys come into that city, I'm going to destroy you. I'm just saying that now. Good quality ivory. That is a good day, everyone. When you can say you have quality ivory, that is when it's a good day. I've already, hey, I've already made my demands. You know what I want, so don't act, don't be acting coy and think that you won't be able to offer it to me, okay? Because I know what I want, and you know what I want, and you know what I want, you know what you want. It's one of those confusing paradigms, okay? Get that converted, getting all this, uh, probably gonna have to convert all this culture, because I don't think Yajirobi is gonna become accepted, uh, anytime soon. I could become the defender of the faith. You know, I would really love, you know, let's use wartime taxes while we're here. <laughs> let's, let's see how much money I can, like, milk out of this, but since I'm gaining, like, a good amount of income right now, I think it might be possible for us to civilize, you know, not civilize, um, to westernize. Well, actually, no. We have to wait till our manpower rec recovers. Uh, yeah, lose piety. Actually, I'm gonna start losing piety. That's what I want to do. Okay, self-sustaining. That's good. Get the core. Okay. Uh, let's start working on Cameroon a little bit. Okay, and any other like two provinces that we can like? Wow, that's a really big two provinces. Okay. Uh. We can't attack yet, but let's see. Can you just can you just keep going back and forth between patrolling? Yeah, just patrol right here and right here. So I want you, I want to see if I can discover that island right there. So 
is... Oh, I can? Yeah, let's get... Let's totally sell that island so that they don't come after me. Okay. So, yep. And the Ottomans are even protecting the land I gained for them. Nope. Yeah, you guys gain nothing. You guys wanna... You guys are not gonna give me anything. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna give you guys anything. Okay, so they're obviously mounting up a decent force to go want to attack. Wow, they're mounting up a good force, actually. We should probably go attack that before it gets any more stronger. Uh, once I finish up my siege. Uh, this, this, is, this is the one, this is the bad thing about having, of having terrible, terrible, terrible men. why I always, this is, if you want to know why, this is why I always have to keep building up more man armies. Because it stinks. Man. Like, we gained only four, 412 a month. Well, that's not better than usual. And now they built, dang it, they built a decent sized army while I was just turning my back. Okay. Well, I got three, I got three provinces. What do you guys want? What can I get? I have 8% war score. Can I get this? No. I still want that. <laughs> okay, if I can't get what I want, then I'm still gonna just suggest what I want. Okay. And let's just gain that last little bit right there. No, you're not getting that. I have a couple diplomats free, so let's see. Let's try to increase our relationships with our most hated friend enemies. Okay, they're mostly our enemies, but we might as well see if we can at least make them semi-like us, so they don't hate us as much. Um, yeah, let's just sit here. The Ottomans are basically finishing up their sieges, the ones they want. Regrettably, we lost the reconquest cause battle against you still. I don't really care! Okay, there's a reason why I have them living on my continent, okay? It's because they're gonna help me figure out the ways of their own life. Okay, let me gain the cap. I think once we gain the capital, they'll be like, "Yeah, we should probably give up." Yeah, I'm sieging it faster than they are. <laughs> ah, that makes me feel so happy. Okay, let's just siege it. Siege, come on, siege, siege, siege. Oh, come on, siege. Come on, guys, siege. She's faster than them. Yes, and then the Ottomans comes in and destroys their army so they don't. Okay, let's let's bring back the one for Portugal. Okay. Let's see if we can get our own peace deal out of this. It actually gives us some land. So, Mamelukes, you guys have been friendly to us. You guys finally gave us 12 war score. Can we at least take Liberia? Thank you. Okay, so we can at least take Liberia. Okay. Uh, give me as much duckets as you as you can, okay? And yeah, do you want anything else besides for making the Ottomans mad at us? Which is probably gonna be like a negative hundred. You really need anything? No. Okay. And honestly, I did stay in this war for as long as I could, but I already know that I will not get anything out of this war if I don't act quick. So let's get back inside our own territory. How much do you hate us? Uh, separate piece? Only thirty? Wow. Okay, never mind. That's that's really worth doing. <laughs> for that one province, I for the one province I received, that's actually worth doing. And now we have a much closer um, tie to the Egyptians, and we're gonna start the uh, Egyptian moving in pretty soon here. But what is our mission right now? It's time to go take time to go take land for the Mali. Okay, go send our troops down here. We're gonna go take some land for the Mali. Do, do. But that's going to be for next episode, people. I'm sorry this episode's a little bit longer than usual. But I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.